Welcome to Kids Church Online. Where we do church together as a family. Hey, I usually do this part solo. I know, but it's our big finale, part five of our Who's King of My Heart series, and I was so excited. Can I join you? Oh, for sure. Well, we are finishing our series called Who's King of My Heart? And today, this is the part where you say, as we check our own heart. Right, as we check our own hearts to see if we're following our own way or God's way. And from 1st and 2nd Samuel, we are going to hear about the king who never was. Ooh. The fun ending. Oh yeah, we also have prayer, memory verse, and of course, some, some silly, silly stuff. stuff. Enjoy. Enjoy. Welcome to an incredible home with an incredible story. I'm your host, Mr. Showman on Showman Homes, and today you're in for a treat. This mansion will dazzle your senses as we peek behind its doors into the great many secrets it holds. Come in and enjoy the amazing delights of spacious grandeur, the vaulted ceilings, beautiful staircases, and fine craftsmanship in every corner of the home. We also find modern technologies and exceptional home fashions by the world's finest designers in the business. Come in and meet the favored family who lives here. Favorite, I say, because of their incredible story. You see, this priceless fortune, this amazing mansion was given to them as a gift. The ruler of this land bestowed upon them this massive gem of a home with its many servants, fabulous cars, and expansive well-groomed gardens. This family is the envy of their community as the world looks on to their dream home life that this privileged family has received. And this man here, Sully, is the proud father and owner of this splendiferous house. And as he likes to say about the gift he's been given, it's mine, I tell you, mine! It's like I can hear him saying it. Yes, Sully was bestowed rule over this property some years ago and guards it closely as his own. Even now, he's out hard at work to keep this home in his clutches. Ah, uh, and this is his son, Johnny, the heir to the family estate. All will be his in time. Johnny, do you enjoy your beautiful home? Oh yes, it's an amazing place to live. And my dad says it will be ours forever. Wow, I hear music. Where's that coming from? Oh, that's my friend Dave from the next door. He sure can play good music. Well, we better go check it out then. As we go, it's great to see this fabulous home with exquisiteness everywhere. What a marvelous mansion they indeed have here. Hey, I'm Dave. Dave, you must enjoy coming here and spending time in this incredible mansion. Yeah, it's great. But I don't think Johnny's dad likes me. Oh? Why is that? He thinks I want to take over his house. He's always questioning me about it, but I'm not. I would never do anything to try and take away what's his. Ah, yes, Sully has told me more than once that this home will get passed down to Johnny. Like I said, I would never try to take it from him. Huh, you may ask, why would Sully be so afraid of Dave taking over his estate? Well, let me tell you a secret. When Sully was given this home, it came on one condition, and that was that he respects the one who gave it to him. Well, Sully did some things his own way, and he got a notice recently saying that he would be evicted. That means kicked out. Rumor on the street is that the owner wants to give it to Dave because Dave's heart is right and wants to respect him. But Sully hasn't been kicked out yet, so he's hoping to turn things around and get Dave out of the picture. Like I said, there are a lot of hidden secrets behind these doors, and it's fascinating to discover. It's not all just beauty and grand charm. There are actual people living here with some real issues. Johnny must feel a lot of envy towards his neighbor Dave. He must be mad that he won't actually get his dad's house and it will instead go to his neighbor Dave when it should have been his. What? No, it's okay. I'm happy for Dave. The one who gave him the house can give it to whoever he wants. What? I consider everything to be nothing compared to knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. 
It's not just about houses, money, or things that people envy. People can envy all kinds of things, being the strongest, the coolest, the fastest, the best looking, but I consider everything to be nothing compared to knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. It was amazing to see someone like Johnny who didn't feel any envy, even though it was supposed to all be his. This reminds me of our cop show, NVTV. Let's check in with Officer Tudorton and Peterson. Welcome back to another episode of NVTV. Officer Peterson, Officer Tudorton on the case. And we're not just your everyday officers, we're the real deal Envy cops. We're on the lookout for Envy. And bust them. Welcome to Envy Jail. Where we do crime stopping and criminal watching. Last week we busted Anna Vincent for her biggest crime yet, and she happened to repent. Yeah, you know, I sinned, and I said sorry, and I, I turned. Guys, I no longer envy. She still has to do her time, but uh, we're not really sure if she means it. So to figure this out, we've got some tests. First, Toots and I will get our lunch. Ah, thanks, Petey. And Anna will get her lunch. Hmm, meager rations. Thank you so much. Signifada dieser Speise und den Kraft der Amen. 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 Why is she enjoying that dry piece of old bread more than we're enjoying our feast? I know. What is in that bread? There must be something so delicious in there. I kind of wish we tasted it before we gave it to her. Yeah. Okay, Anna. That's enough. I think it's time for our next test. Yeah, next test. Nap time! For this next test, Toots and I get pillows and blankies. Thank you, Petey. Oh, so soft and comfortable. Oh, wonderful. I mean, this is going to be a good sleep. And Enna gets a rock hard pillow. My pillow is too soft. This blanket is too warm. Something's digging into my back in my chair. Is this the princess in the pea? Why can't I sleep? I wish I wasn't wearing my radio. Oh. Why is she sleeping so comfortably? That's the most peaceful sleep I've ever seen. Oh. Yeah, I wish I could sleep like that. Wake up, prisoner. Forget your sleep. Yeah, it's time for one last test. And it's going to be a good one. For this next test, Tudorton and I are free to go anywhere we want. Yeah, we could go to the mall. Or to the donut shop. Or go see our families. Or we could go to Disney World if we wanted. You're gonna stay locked up in here and we're gonna go wherever we want. Yeah, locked up with no freedom to go anywhere. Okay guys, have fun. What? What's she so happy about? There must be something super fun inside that jail cell. Why don't we get to be in there and happy like her? It's not fair! Guys, remember, don't let envy start. Keep Jesus king of your heart. Oh! Oh, she's right. Job well done, Tudorton. From a hardened criminal to a repentant citizen able to teach others not to envy. Let's say it together one more time. You can join us at home. Don't, Don't let envy start. Keep Jesus king of your heart. It's great to see how repentance, where you sin, say you're sorry, and turn away from your sin, makes a huge difference. 
No more envy for Anna Vincent. And I think the cops learned their lesson too. Let's try our memory verse one more time. I consider everything to be nothing compared to knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Philippians 3 verse 8. It's time for Pray and Do. Can you guess who is going to lead us in prayer today? Today we have the Penner family. Welcome to my house. Let me give you a tour of the best spots. This is my spot at the table. It's the best because I get to sit beside my mom and look out the window. This is my room. It's the best because I have my own Christmas tree and my bed is just so comfy. And this is our living room. I want to show you the best and most wonderful place to sit. This is the best spot in the living room and even the best spot in the house. It's just so comfortable and you can even see the TV from here. I just love this spot so much that I want to get it whenever I can. It's my favorite spot, I was just saying that. Ha, you don't think I'm serious, do you? You think I really care about a comfortable spot? No way. All the comfortable spots in the world can't compare with what I've got. I've got Jesus. So it's okay if you take that spot. I'll show love like Jesus would. Take all the spots you want. Whoa, that's just like our memory verse. I consider everything, even favorite or comfortable things, to be nothing, nothing worth getting mad about compared to knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Yeah, he's better than anything else. So, for today's family fun activity, how about we run around the house pointing at the best, most comfortable things and call them nothing? Even the best spot at the table or in the car? Nothing, 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 nothing. You only have 20 seconds, so you have to go fast. And go! Nothing, 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 nothing. <sighs> <sighs> Some of those things I know I fought about with my brother and sister because I thought they were important. We need to keep Jesus as king of our hearts so that we can remember that the rest is really nothing. Let's pray. And you guys at home can repeat after me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That you are king of my heart. That you are king of my heart. Everything really is nothing. Everything really is nothing. Compared to you. Compared to you. Help me to always keep you first. Help me to always keep you first. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Thanks for, for praying, praying with, with us. us. We took a beautiful tour of an amazing mansion and found some incredible secrets inside where Sully, the owner and father of the house, had been given an amazing gift, only to lose it to the neighbor boy Dave, who would get it as soon as Sully and his family would be kicked out. In all this, Johnny did not envy Dave one bit, even though the house was supposed to go to him. Instead, he would get kicked out too, and yet, he was okay with that. Let's follow this exact same kind of story as we find in the Bible, not about a mansion, but a kingship. Sully reminds me of Saul, who was made king over Israel, but did not follow God's ways and would lose his kingdom in time. God had instead gotten the prophet Samuel to anoint David to be king, and Saul was furious, just like Sully was mad at the neighbor boy Dave. And Johnny? He is exactly like Saul's son, Jonathan. We haven't met him yet in Kids Church Online, so we are excited to tell you about his life too. Jonathan was supposed to be the next king after Saul, but now it would be lost forever from Saul's family. But was Jonathan actually okay with losing the crown that would be his? Was he not just as furious as his dad was about losing the crown to David? Losing out on being king, losing the palace, and all the servants and the riches, this would for sure make anyone envy. 
But instead, Jonathan protected David from his dad, and David and Jonathan stayed best friends for life. This could only happen because Jonathan had God as king of his heart. When God is king of our hearts, everything is like nothing compared to knowing him, even getting to be king. Kids, I have dessert for you. Here, I got the yummiest, biggest piece for you. Thank you. Elise, why did you do that? Why didn't you take the best, biggest piece for yourself? Because everything is nothing compared to knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. I already have everything, and I just want to make Wells happy. That sounds like our memory verse. Let's say it together. And you at home can say it with us. I consider everything to be nothing compared to knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Philippians 3 verse 8. Thank you Jesus for this food and thank you that you are my everything. Amen. Thanks for praying with us. together. Wait a minute, a Jesus adventure? <gasps> that sounds like the bestest, best adventure ever in the world! Hold on a second, are you guys saying that Jesus is better than all your stuff? Yeah! Oh, for sure! Jesus is better? Than anything! Oh, that is right! Absolutely, Jesus is better than all of our stuff. And life with Jesus is the best adventure of them all. Oh, this is true. We need to tell others. Let's go. I consider everything. Including these wall dividers. Nothing in comparison to knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. There you go, guys. We helped you. I'm so fun, Church Terry speaking. Oh, so you're new to our church. That is so awesome. We'd love to get you plugged in. And so <laughs> I consider everything to be nothing, even a full goal, <laughs> compared to knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. <laughs> hey guys, do you want to be my friend? Hey, I consider everything, including all your food, to be nothing compared to knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. I just have a lot of prayer requests. Could you write type them down? Oh, hey guys, I consider everything to be nothing, including your cup of coffee and all of your work. <sighs> Compared to knowing Christ Jesus, our Lord. There you go. Yeah. <gasps> we did it. <laughs> hey, hold on guys. Oh, life with Jesus is the best adventure. But we were busy taking people's stuff and we need to be sharing Jesus with them. Oh! Maybe we should try again? Hey, yes, let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> well, hey guys. Uh, actually, we don't want to take your stuff. We want to show you kindness and the love of Jesus. So, here you go. Glad we could help you. Yeah. Jesus loves you. <laughs> I am so sorry for hanging up on you. Jesus love you and this person too. <laughs> Hello.
Hello? Hey, hey guys, hey, hey, sorry. Uh, Jesus is still awesome, uh, but uh, you can have your, you can have your food back. Uh, there you go. Still wanna be my friends? Hey, you know what? I'm really sorry about the mess that I made, and uh, Jesus loves you, and this is a really great cup of coffee. Here, let me just I'll clean this up a little bit. There you go. Bye. Could you keep typing my prayer requests? <laughs> wow, life with Jesus is the best adventure. We get to show people love and show kindness to everyone. Yeah, we don't need to take people's stuff. No, we just show kindness to everyone. That's the Jesus adventure. Yeah. yeah. Slapstick Theater, David and Jonathan. This is Jonathan. Hey! Who was the son of King Saul and a warrior in Israel's army. This is David. Hey. Who would later become the king of Israel. Huh? After David defeated a great giant, he was brought before King Saul and he met Jonathan. They immediately became friends. Yeah! And Jonathan made a pact with David and showed him that by giving David his robe and weapons. Oh, hang on. From that time on, David was successful in all he did. Arr! And King Saul became jealous of David and very angry. Arr. Saul wanted his servants and Jonathan to get rid of David. But because Jonathan loved his friend David, he warned David of what his father was planning. Oh, oh. Jonathan went to his father, King Saul, and talked him out of harming David. Mm. Okay. For a time, David was safe from King Saul's plans. Phew. But not long after, the king's jealousy and anger came back, and he tried to kill David. Whoa! David got away, and his friend Jonathan came to help him. I got it. Jonathan tried again to talk his father out of hurting David. No. But now King Saul was convinced he needed David to be gone. Jonathan was angry and sad that his father would not let his friend go. Ugh. And he knew that David would have to go into hiding and run from King Saul. Jonathan met David one last time, and the two cried and said their goodbyes. <laughs> Jonathan told David to go in peace and that they had a special bond in God's name. Then David left and lived a life on the run from King Saul, and Jonathan returned to the town. Even though they were separated, the two were the best of friends and were an encouragement to one another. Yeah! We took a tour of a beautiful mansion today where we found some incredible secrets inside where Sully, the father and owner of the home, was given an amazing gift only to lose it to the neighbor boy Dave, who would soon get it once Sully and his family would be kicked out. In all this, Johnny did not envy Dave one bit, even though the house was supposed to go to him. Instead, he would be kicked out too, and yet he was okay with that. <laughs> now that is a heart without envy. Now that story was completely made up, but it reminds us of a very real and true life story that we find in the Bible. The house story is just like the life of King Saul, his son Jonathan, and David from the Bible, where God gave Saul the crown to be king of Israel, and his son Jonathan would be the next king in line. But Saul did things his own way and lost his crown to David, whose heart was after God. Which means Jonathan would never be king. And yet, he protected David and loved him. Now that is a heart with no envy. Jonathan was the king that never was. But more importantly, he had God as king of his heart. 
Thanks for joining us at KCO. Hope you had fun and learned a lot in our Who's King of My Heart series. We have looked at the books of 1st and 2nd Samuel and we met a lot of great Bible characters. There was Eli. And Hannah. Samuel. Saul. David. Nathan. And Jonathan. Not only did we meet them, but we also learned about their lives when they chose to follow God as king of their hearts and when they chose to do things their own way. We also learned something important from Anna Vincent and the Envy Cops. Don't let envy start. Keep Jesus king of your heart. And one great way to do just that is to hide God's word in our heart by memorizing it. I consider everything to be nothing compared to knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Philippians 3 verse 8. So even though the series is over, we want to remember to always keep Jesus king of our hearts. We'll be back next week with, with more on Kids, Kids Church Online. Online. the crown to David, whose heart was after God. And that means... Malfunction. <laughs> oh, here comes the cat. Let's hurry this up. No, stinking cat. Favorite I say because of this incredible gift. <laughs> Everyone was distracted by me. Oh. Okay, okay. Settle down, all you cat people. Guard it, bah, no. And as he likes to say about the beginning of the Hello. I know, but I was so excited because it's our big poo. <laughs> what? Welcome to Kids Church Online. Where we... <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to So even though the series is over, we always want to remember to keep Jesus king of our hearts. We'll be back next week. I had one line. <laughs> <laughs>